Alyssa. I'm the curator of education and exhibits at the Grace Hudson Museum. Today, I'm going to show you how to make rose hip syrup. We have rose hips growing in our garden and we're going to use a recipe from a past exhibit. The first step is to gather the berries. Be careful, the branches will tug and tear at you. Pick the reddest berries, they'll be the sweetest. Rinse them off and dry them on a paper towel. After a couple of days, they'll start to shrivel up like raisins. That's just fine. When you've got enough, it's time to head to the kitchen. I used one and a half pounds of berries or about nine cups. So adjust the recipe as you need to. Make sure to get out all of the leaves. You can pop off the stems, but you don't need to. Pop them in a pan, add some water, bring to a boil and simmer for at least 10 minutes. Next, use the back of a wooden spoon or whatever you have handy to mash the berries all up. When they are pretty thoroughly mashed up, take them off the stove and cool them down. For the next part, we're going to use some fabric to strain the sauce from our berries. You can see the weave is fairly thick, but there's still space in between the threads. Add the berries to the fabric and squeeze. Repeat until you've gone through all of it. If you have a food mill, you could use that too. Pour the strained sauce back into the pan and add about half a cup of honey. If you wanna make it more or less sweet, just add more or less honey. Bring to a boil. I added a little too much water, so I let it simmer for a little longer until it got to the thickness that I want. When you're done, pour over pancakes, ice cream, yogurt, or even add to a drink. Enjoy!